Hey everybody, Mike Fisk here with another word of encouragement for you from God's Word. Today's verse comes from Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 11, which says this, For I am with you and will save you, says the Lord. I will completely destroy the nations where I have scattered you, but I will not completely destroy you. I will discipline you, but with justice. I cannot let you go unpunished. You know, these, this verse has a, a bit of a bittersweet tang to us. In one sense, God says that he's going to deliver us. Uh, that uh, He's talking to the Israelites and he's saying, even though you're scattered all over the place, even though you're in exile, even though you feel completely disjointed and abandoned by me, I will rescue you. But then he goes on to say, you're going to have to go through discipline. Uh, he says, those nations that have rejected me, that have mocked me, that have ridiculed you for believing me and, and mocked you and my word, they will be punished and God's judgment will be severe and it will be harsh and it will be eternal on those people that, def that uh, reject him. But then he says, for you, my people, and he's talking to the Israelites who uh, throughout their history had rejected God. They believed in God, but they were sort of atheistic God people. They, they believed in him, but they didn't follow him. And he's saying to you, because you haven't received me, because you haven't lived according to my word, I'm going to have to discipline you. I'm going to punish the other nations, but I'm going to have to discipline you. Here's the thing. The difference between God's punishment and God's discipline is our heart. For those of us that believe in him, we fail. I fail every day. But we can come to him, ask forgiveness, repent of our sins, and he'll bless us. For those that continue to reject him, they will suffer the punishment of their sins. So the next time you feel like God has abandoned you, ask him this question, Lord, what is it you're trying to teach me? Because you see, for discipline, discipline comes as a result of our attempt to try to make somebody better. Punishment comes as a result of our trying to get revenge. God never wants to get revenge. He wants to discipline. He wants to make us strong. So the next time you feel alone, you feel God's abandoned you, ask him, what is it, Lord, you want me to learn? How can I grow stronger through this? And he'll show you the way. Remember, God loves you, and he wants to see you grow strong in him. Hey, thanks for stopping in. Have a great day.